Good day, good everybody. Good to see you back at the channel. There are two things to talk about. One is uh, somebody questioned the effectiveness of our groups, and one of them is our recent victories and the whole strategy of everything that we're doing moving forward based on those recent victories. Now, first, the question came up, does all of our weird, wonderful astral travel stuff actually do anything? So on January 26, we published this video, which is about taking down the global propaganda groups. And so the dark side have done an enormous amount of spell work in order to make sure that their lies are the only things you hear. Now, now as our team took that down, something happened within two weeks on February 6, which is Tucker Carlson published his interview with Vladimir Putin. Now, everybody in the legacy media had the opportunity to to promote Vladimir Putin's voice. He could have been heard, but since there's so much propaganda about him as the next Hitler, it's um it's there's no reason for anybody to hear it. But as this video here says with Tucker, he says him and his team had been talking about interviewing Vlad for months and months. It's only when we took down the, the grids, the curses that only allow you to hear their message, that his plan to interview Vladimir Putin actually came to fruition. Now, you may wonder if what we do changes anything, but what happened here was we did a spell about propaganda, and then two weeks later, the propaganda group suffered an amazing blow when one of their own did the unthinkable and interviewed the next Hitler and showed him not to be the rabid monster that they would portray him as. So if you wonder if our weird astral travel stuff actually works, well, there's a really, really clear indicator and event that we're doing something useful, that things are changing and they're paced in line with what we do. Anyway, moving on, we have had massive success in doing something that has not even been considered since the time of Solomon, I think. There's nowhere in history, there's no stories that talk about anybody doing anything near this. And so what we're up to is we are out to eliminate demon kind. There is a bit of debate as to whether or not they exist and people in the spiritual milieu do not want to talk about them. Under any circumstance, thou shalt not mention demons. And, you know, and if I, in my personal life, I've, thought I knew all the good swear words, but if you want to make people turn around and walk away, you start saying the word exorcism to them, I dare you. And in my mind, there isn't enough time or space available to educate people. It might take a whole generation. And at this point, everybody's resistant to hearing something that's really not that pleasant. You know, when I talk about it being the solution to most mental health problems, these invisible monsters that mess with your mind, um, people can understand that. If they think about it for 15 seconds, it, they say it should be investigated, but there is no academic literature, none whatsoever, about whether or not demons exist. The study has never been done. And so what our team is doing is we're just cutting to the chase. We, Our team is large enough and strong enough that we are actually able to eliminate individual demon types, these individual breeds of demon and their, their hierarchies. And in the last two weeks, we've taken down the God of alcohol and I've heard and I've got messages from alcoholics saying that they've spontaneously stopped drinking after 35 years. But I don't think it's the universal solution that I had hoped for. You know, I think other similarly disposed demons are stepping into their place. But one less demon specific to alcohol makes them weaker. The next demon that we ran off world was a guy named Wetiko, who, who was named by the North American Indians when the white men showed up here. And he is a demon of gr unlimited greed and the psychopathology that follows it. The third demon that we took down was, it's not even a single demon, it's a more of a breed of demons that we regard as responsible for 
psychopathology, sociopathology, and narcissism. And they call themselves the shining ones um, because, how oh, much other things like all narcissists, they have to look good all the time. We took down their entire group as well, which is one of the nastier, if not the nastiest, of demon around. And we also targeted someone very interesting that nobody's talking about, but the demon of debt slavery. And he was fascinating. And he um, was connected through banking uh, to, we imagined it would be Switzerland, but it actually turned out to be the, the square mile in London. Was, was the home base home base of operations for that particular breed. Not only that, the demon of debt slavery also had his own sub-demons of the anxiety, the depression, the drudgery, the misery, the panic. All of the emotions that follow debt slavery were actually minions that were under his command, which is an original, <clears throat> which is a phenomenon we had not seen directly uh, in our studies of demon kind. So we're breaking new ground. Now, I think in a lot of cases, similarly disposed demons are stepping into the place of the original demons. However, sort of like the hopelessness demon is stepping in for the depression demon. And the victory is that these different methods for demon kind to manipulate humanity are being erased one by one. And we think that we've taken the entire population of demon kind down by two or three percent, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's the first time those numbers have reduced in millennia. We we don't know of any other time where they've uh, where the where the numbers have actually gotten smaller. They've just been expanding ever since. And since World War II, they say they've never had it so good. They've never been so lucky. And I. Think. I don't know what the results of this will be, except that humanity will be better off without demons here on the earth, without demons here to manipulate and undermine them. By our team setting up to eliminate all of demon kind, we actually have potential for a fresh era. The elimination of demon kind is a precursor to our golden age. It's a requirement. And now that we're in a special time, our team is the avatar of human will in eliminating them. On a side note, I released this this week, I released the uh, much awaited interview with the demon of lust. And so if you look on my social media or in particular Spotify, I'm on Exorcist Alabar Jones, then you'll hear for, you'll hear what lust is about from the actual demon lord of lust. All of the usual things, like and subscribe. I know you'll enjoy it. There's plenty more good material where this is coming from. And I don't know of anybody else who's updating the world on um, what's going on in the revolution more directly and more and with consistency than someone like Benjamin Fulford, whose links are here. Anyway, love to you all. Stay well, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.